Hi, I'm Kate from the Small Things blog. Today I'm going to show you how to do a double knotted hairstyle. This is a great way to pull your hair back if it's a really muggy day and you just want it off your neck and in sort of a messy bun, but something that looks a little bit more intentional than a messy bun. Um, so this could actually be an updo if you wanted to sort of polish it up a little bit, but it can, it can also be super casual. I'd recommend starting with hair that has a little bit of a bend in it, so that could either be put in by a curling iron or hot rollers, or if you've curled your hair at the beginning of the day and then it's just kind of fallen out. Mine's really loosely curled, so you don't need perfect curls, but just a little bit of bend will help you pin the ends all in place. You can absolutely try it on straight hair, but you might have an easier time if your hair's a little softer. The first step will be sectioning off the crown and keeping that out of our way while we deal with the bottom half of the hair. You can just clip that out of the way. So the hair left down is what's going to be tied in knots. So we'll start with the hair on the right side. And I'm going to style this up to you a little bit to my right, but you can center it if you prefer that or even go to your left. Section the hair that remains just right down the center and then pull it over to the sides of your shoulders so the left hair is going to stay out of the way. Then take your right section, divide it in half, and you'll tie it in a knot right behind your ear. The bobby pins for this knot are going to go right over the center of it, and this is all going to be covered, so put as many as you need to hold that knot in place. With the hair that's remaining on your left side, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to have to make sure you pull it over to the right a little bit more. So now that you have the bottom sections tied in knots, we're going to go ahead and place the tendrils that are hanging out right on top of the knots. So the best way to do this is to just slip a bobby pin in about halfway down the section of the hair that remains. You can go ahead and let it close on that hair and then just twist it around and stick the bobby pin in wherever you stuck the other ones in to hold the knot. So you just want to kind of create a loop there and it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry about that. With the top section remaining, you can let that out of the clip. If your hair is really long, you may want to consider tying this section in a knot as well, right on top of the section we just worked on. But if you've got layers kind of like I do, I would just twist and pin like what we just did with the tendrils. So no real strategy, you want it to be kind of messy and undone. So let's start with the center and then we'll work our way to the sides.
So once you have everything pinned, you can go ahead and fine tune if you need to. Pin any of the straight hairs that are sticking out under, or you can kind of leave them like I did. I think that contributes nicely to sort of the messy look. You saw how simple and quick this was to pull your hair up, and that way it's off your neck. So if it's a really humid day, you don't have to worry about it. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you want to see any others, be sure to visit thesmallthingsblog.com.